Hi, d -Rock here. I wanted to preface this video with a bit of a rabbit hole that I just stumbled into. So, uh, I generally do some research after the fact, meaning after I go out into the desert, do all the filming, I come back and I'll do a little research to add some narration at the beginning of the video. That's been the, the norm with what I'm currently doing. Anyway, as I was doing research, I went to get information on where the oldest petroglyphs in North America are located. They happen to be located at Winnemucca Lake in Nevada. So I uh, looked up images of these petroglyphs and I immediately had an epiphany because a lot of the symbols that were carved into those rocks, which I should add, have been dated to be between 10 and 15,000 years old. So those are the oldest known petroglyphs in North America. Um, the symbols immediately stood out. Why did they stand out? Because they were the exact symbols I saw on a boulder in the Nevada desert yesterday, between four and 500 miles away from Winnemucca Lake. And it's these symbols right here. Get a little few of those. As a matter of fact, they were exactly the same symbols. And I've seen this symbol here in a canyon another hundred miles away from where I was yesterday. So I'm under the impression that a person, a single person, 10 to 15,000 years ago was not wandering the entire state of Nevada carving these symbols into the rock. And what this could mean, and I'm about to head down the rabbit hole here, is that uh, this all is some type of ideal or belief or religion that was being taught to certain people who went, who traveled the entirety of the state and put these images on rocks. So what that means is 10 to 15,000 years ago, there was a group of people that shared a common belief. And not only did they talk about it, but they also carved it into rock. It's very interesting to me. And uh, I intend to do a video of all these sites put together. However, I contacted the Pyramid Lake Paiute tribe. Winnemucca Lake is, is it Winnemucca or Winnemucca? Anyway, um, the lake is on their land. So I called to see if I could get permission to visit the petroglyph site. And they said, no, currently that area is now closed to the public. And I said, well, how about for the future? And for the foreseeable future, it will remain close to the public. I didn't mention that uh, I was doing videos on YouTube or anything like that. So um, I may have to use footage from other YouTubers and images or things of that nature. But that being said, it's just very interesting that these symbols are the same, except they're hundreds of miles apart and they have been carved into the rock 10 to 15,000 years ago. I think they're the same images from the same time period. So we'll see how this all progresses, but just just a, uh, a rabbit hole I'm going down. So look forward to more videos pertaining to this. Anyway, on to the current video. Thank you very much for watching. Hello, hello, D-Rock here. Welcome to the channel. When you think of Nevada, generally two things come to mind the desert, and Las Vegas. However, Nevada has something more than those two things. Nevada has a deep, deep history. As a matter of fact, the oldest petroglyphs or rock art in North America are found in Nevada. These images have been dated to be between 10 and 15,000 years old. This period of time is known as the Paleo-Indian period, and it occurred around the end of the last ice age. Now, ancient Nevada wasn't always a dried out desert. And during that time, the Paleo-Indian period, it was quite wet. And it didn't begin to dry out until around 8,000 years ago. So where there is an abundance of water, you get an abundance of plant and animal life. 
With those kind of resources, people might have done quite well for themselves. Well enough, anyway, to take the time to carve images into the rock. So please join me as I head out into the Nevada desert to discover what once was. sun feels good it is cold. It's, it's like just above or below freezing right now out here it is cold um i got up at three o'clock this morning to make the ride out here i'm in a new to me part of the nevada desert i'm out here because i've come uh, to the understanding that there's rock art out here petroglyphs and possibly pictographs that uh are extremely old or possibly possibly eight thousand years maybe even older I don't have any way to date them, but um, there may be examples or or some indications that would that would lead me to believe they're that old. Um, some ways I I think, or I don't know if it's exactly been scientifically proven, but uh, there's a term called repatinaed, and that's when you carve into a rock, a rock face or anything, and you get. Uh, you carve through the darker layer of the rock and it produces a lighter layer. So when you see a lot of petroglyphs, that's how you're, you're, you're seeing them because they're, they're standing out against the dark background or like a desert varnish. Anyway, when that lighter area turns back to the same color as the surrounding area of the rock, and it completely goes dark again, that's called a repatina. That means it's really old, like thousands of years old. It takes, it takes a minute to do that, that process. Anyway, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to encounter out here because I've never seen anything out in this area. So I've got all day and uh, to have a look. I, I, there's various places I need to have a look. So I'm gonna be doing a mixture of walking and driving. I mean, this is a lot of ground to cover. One thing that uh, maybe many people don't even realize, I didn't realize at one point is that Nevada, Southern Nevada, uh, was once a wetland and it started drying out. If I have this correct, my research correct, it started drying out about 8,000 years ago. Prior to that, it was, it was from, for all purposes, a pretty lush wetland. So things would have been a little different out here. However, what I'm trying to get at is that this landscape that you see right now currently that I'm looking at looks pretty void and barren and uh, well, it's a desert, you know, however, 8,000 plus years ago, it probably didn't look like this. It probably, there was a lot more water. There was a lot more vegetation, which meant there was a lot more animal life. So it probably wasn't quite as inhospitable as it is currently. So that being said, humans, there might have been a greater concentration of humans in the area. And, uh, you know, they left the mark. So that all that, all that being said, as I'm rambling, I'm going to get to, to exploring out here. There's lots of ground to cover, and this is going to take many, many trips. And hopefully I will come across something really cool today. So... So here we go. <laughs> it didn't take me long. I got a nice zoomorphic figure here. When I say zoomorphic figure, that, that basically means an animal-like figure. Uh, if we were to have an anthropomorphic figure, it'd be like a human-like figure. Anyway, this is also a great example of what I mentioned when I said repatinaed.
Whoa. So check this out. Look at that. There you have it. If you get it really close to it, it just looks like nothing. But when you back out, you've got legs, antlers. And if you notice, the pecking in the rock has darkened. So that's pretty old. Is it 8,000 years old? I don't know, but that right there is pretty old. I can really back away from that petroglyph and you can really get a better understanding of what it's representing there and animal wise you know let me just use my finger it's right there pardon my fingertip but that's that's the glyph right there one and only glyph someone sat right there and pecked that into the rock long long time ago so as i'm walking i'm also looking at the ground and i've got some lithic right here, or debitage. This is evidence flaking here, evidence of tool making. Yeah, there's more right there. This was uh, obviously a very popular, I mean this, I'm stopping now, the ground is absolutely covered in, in uh, debitage. So, a lot of tool making going on right here. So they would sit down here on the rocks here, make their tools, and maybe they'd corner an animal up in the hills here, and then they'd flank it. One would go there, one would go there, one would go there, and close in, trap the animal. It's a good, it's a good plan, because there's, there's stuff everywhere. There's just flakes everywhere. So maybe the rock art's not way up in the boulders up there, but down here, low, on the rocks that are lower, because they would be spending more time uh, in a leisure state down here, waiting, waiting and making tools, making points, making arrowheads, spear points. Gotcha. Look at this. There's something here. Oh, man, you can make it out. Got some sun coming up right there. Figure some of these big boulders down here might have something on it. Man, I can barely make that out. Very interesting. Well, these are anthropomorphic figures. Sometimes the only way to see this is to back way out. The sun's not hitting this. That might not be anything. That might just be, might be natural, but they sure like, they sure look like something though. I'm not 100% sure those are petroglyphs. So I'm looking at these closely and I do think they are petroglyphs. I can, I can see it's been chipped out here. It just doesn't look like it's, it's natural. Gosh, this is a, this is a very different style, but the figure has its arms up this one here and same with the smaller one here and you can see it's been kind of pecked out of the rock there yeah i don't know i'd like to think so but i'm a little skeptical about it i'm, I'm anticipating different styles because i'm hundreds of miles away from anything i'm used to so Maybe. Well, I didn't see anything on this lone boulder here, but as I was walking, I came across this. That's a little, little unusual to be just out here. That might be uh, some type of tool there. It certainly looks like it. Hmm. I don't know, I'm back to this boulder again. I'm, 
Man, those sure could be anthropomorphic figures. It just looks, that one looks so suspect there. And I got a bigger one right here in the same style with the arms, arms up like this, you know. Faded. That one's really faded. It's turned the same color as the rock. That one's almost there. So if they are, they are really, really, really old. Really old. Thousands of years old. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know. What do you guys think? Hit up those comments. Huh, well, it looked good from a distance. I'm not seeing anything though. Ah, uh, check that out. It's a piece of obsidian. No doubt that was prized. All right, I'm gonna head back to the truck and check out a new area. Did not see anything out here. So, there's probably like a giant panel at the top. <laughs> We're going to have to share a sandwich and we're going to move on. If I were petroglyphs, where would I be? So I'm on this next layer over here. And I'm just going to work this for a minute. I don't know, a quarter mile in either direction. Checking these boulders, stuff like that. And um, hopefully I run across something. Holy moly. I just... Ran into like a pile of debitage. Look at all this. Someone sat here and tore apart a piece. This is good. Look at all this. It's everywhere. Oh man, there's all kinds of material here. Look at this. Wow, oh, there's even a piece of obsidian. Oh, I got pictograph. Look at this. Oh, mercy. I got stuff here. Oh, wow. All right, we've got obvious shelter. Looks like there's still some remnants of, uh, I don't know, that may be more modern right there, but uh, there's obviously been fires in here and uh, we've got some paint. Very faded right here and then an obvious right there. Look at that. Wow. Oh, man, that's that's incredible. Oh, when we get petroglyphs. All right, look at this. What? Wow, it's just completely different than the stuff I see. Wow, look at that. Very faded right here. More here. There's a couple images here and some of it's almost faded and re-patina to the point where it's illegible. So I'm gonna go over it kind of slowly for uh, a few seconds here, but it's, that's awesome. It's completely different style.
So I've come down from that level and we're gonna have a look at this little island here. A lot of times, places such as this, you'll find concentrations of rock art, sometimes more so in a place like this and like all up in there. It's not saying you won't find it up in there because I just did, but um, you know, it's hit or miss, really. And uh, yeah, it, it's pretty few and far between today. But uh, what, I've, what I've come across is pretty cool, old, and um, definitely the anthropomorphic, a different style. So it's very, very exciting. Um, but no, no heavy concentrations, just sporadic here and there. Nothing. Struck out. It's back to the truck, moving on. In here. Never know. Never know. Finally, pay dirt. Right there. That is old, old stuff. picking that up better than my eyes. <sighs> old, 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 ancient. So I can barely make this out, but oh, there's more right there. There might have been more down here, but it's just completely weathered away. This is old stuff. Um, it's really old. I, of course, can't, I have no idea how old, but it, it's probably more than a few hundred years. It's probably thousands of years old. So we've got some stuff here on down to the base. Some of this might be gone here, and then right here. You get up close, you just can't, you can't get it. You step back a bit, and uh, I've got it on really wide, so I should probably get about right there, I guess, but. There's a whole lot going on here. I keep seeing more. There's more off to the side here. And I think the camera's actually picking it up better than, than what I can physically see with my eyes, that is. So there's stuff that begins over here and the whole thing is just got going on. And it's very interesting. A lot of, uh, you can see right here, like, thing, and then that, and then of course, oh, we got this stuff here, that. This is this is incredible. It may not seem like a lot. It may just seem like some lines, you know. But in actuality, what you're looking at here is. Uh, this is someone's expression um, and a, a window to someone's thoughts possibly thousands of years ago. So it's, uh, it's very special, very special indeed. Here we go. Here we go. Man, check that out. Old stuff. Let me get on this other rock here. Let's just make sure I'm not going to step on any. 
because here's some excellent example of a re-patina. And being extremely careful where I'm stepping. So you can see this stuff right here that's been carved into the rock is darkened again. You can see stuff that's come off like recently. When I say recently, it could have been, you know, over however long. But this has turned dark again. This is this is thousands of years old right here. The stuff on here. No doubt about that. With a re-patina like that, darkening, it very well could be four, five, six thousand years old, maybe even older. It's uh it's 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 just incredible. Really got you get something right here. Looks like almost like a star. Look at these circular designs here. This pattern right here with the lines that looks similar to what I saw not too long ago when I was out uh, my first video where I found um, a roasting pit in the Nevada desert and I went into like a canyon. That looks like the same type of things that I found carved into the wall there and it was ancient as well. So I don't know a whole lot going on here. It's very exciting and uh, you, know, you can use your imagination. Just about to walk away when I saw another symbol right here. And this is darker than some of the stuff here. And this is obviously re-patinaed. It's, it's so old. So there's a whole lot going on. There might have been other stuff here, but it's completely disintegrated off. Oh, there's some down here. I'm gonna to switch to a different camera just to step back and do some pan in here. Look at how old this stuff is. And that is a zoomorphic figure sitting on top right there. Pan out a little bit. Like I said, you gotta step back sometimes and you end up seeing a lot more stuff. When I did that, I saw this here, you step back. So this whole boulder has a lot going on 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 it. It's just, oh man, for the the exterior that's still surviving and hasn't disintegrated off. Um, yeah, there's a whole lot going on here. So I'm gonna slowly make my way down and see what else. More stuff in here on this rock. I mean, this is barely legible. It's almost all gone. But you can make out patterns and that's about it okay i'm looking down now on this other boulder for these patterns and it's very and your guess is as good as mine very very interesting what that may represent what's really interesting are the the symbols part of my finger it's going to move into the frame here oh, where we are there we go Zoom out right above my fingertip there. You can see it. It's very, very interesting. And then there's more right there above my fingertip. And then you've got that pattern there. Very interesting. Oh, we got another symbol here. Look at this. This is absolutely re-patinaed right here. Look at that. Just a, just a circle. No concentric circle, no spiral, but it's almost turned, returned to the same color as the surrounding rock. That symbol right there is very, 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 very old. I actually got something right up here. I'm gonna have to use the other camera again. Way up on this big boulder here, the thing's like 15 feet tall. There's one symbol, there it is right there look at that just that whole entire boulder and there that one symbol is they pan out 
Boy, there's a whole lot on that right there. Can you make that out? A little cave here. There's definitely evidence of fire in here and some positioned rocks. And there's also charred bone. So this is kind of interesting. Yeah, very interesting, I would say. Well, that was a very interesting day, no doubt about that. The glyphs kind of petered out what I was currently looking at. So um, not so sure about uh, the glyphs this morning. Well, the zoomorphic, the animal figure I found first, that was the obvious one, but then I thought I might have found some, some anthropomorphic ones. I'm not sure. But then after that, I did come across some uh, some pictographs and pe petroglyphs when I was doing some hiking. And then, then I wrapped this up, which is this amazing discovery on this this section anyway. So uh, successful day and lots of questions. Very, very different styles and somewhat similar symbols like the squigglies and stuff like that but very overall different than what i've been used to seeing say in, in utah and arizona so i'm under the impression the stuff i've come across here at the end of this trip uh is is extremely old probably thousands of years old um i could be wrong but uh, like I, I always say i'm not an expert i'm just just observing and what I do research and things like repatine and stuff like that lends me to think that way, but I could be wrong. However, it's fun to think about it all. And uh, there's, uh, it's obvious that people have been in this area for thousands of years and uh, it's got a really deep history. So very interesting. Anyway, that's gonna be a wrap. I gotta get back on the road. Got lots more content on the way. Thank you very much for watching. And if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. We want to grow. It's free. It helps us out tremendously. We'll see you next time. D-Rock out. I'll leave this with you to contemplate. Adios.